Hi, Gearspace. Uh, this is Ralph from Random Source, and we are back here at the Super Booth um, with the Sash range, both for Eurorack and for For You. And in the Eurorack, on the Eurorack side, we brought the Varel bandwidth filter, which is uh, probably the rarest uh, filter uh, in the Sash range, uh, which is now for the first time available in Eurorack. It's the classic. It's the classic uh, dual bandpass filter that Serge designed uh, a long, long time ago with one very recent addition, and that is the switch. That is the switch which allows us uh, to uh, select uh, which side the CV and the control is actually affecting. And uh, we have a little patch here um, going on. It's quite simple. That uses the variable width output, and we can turn this up. We can play with the bandwidth. And look, in fact, the CV has And uh, as you can see, it has uh, six outputs um, and no resonance. So it's, uh, it's a very special thing. It's great for sound shaping, for drones, for subtle changes and for really working uh, with the bands and the waveforms. Lots of uh, possibility to modulate it by CV. And uh, right now it's actually fed by the um, Hyper Living VCOs. That's also one of the new modules that we brought uh, here. Uh, it's for the first time um, available as a built module. It used to be only um, DIY. Um, and uh, now we managed to get this into a skiff friendly format with all the additions that we did a while ago and that is uh, the edit assign try outputs the sync inputs um, the uh, extended driver section which has hypeless uh, original vca and uh, distortion all all in all it's all in all it's um, three oscillators plus the driver section which makes this perfect for drones or very uh, massive uh, vintage analog sounds. Okay, anything else? Uh, how about the patch? Okay, this is, uh, I mean the, the the, the oscillator is running right now, but it's um, this is now not too fancy. If we try to add some madness here, I mean, we can try to bring in some some FM, for instance. So as you can see, the filter is really nice also for subtle um, terminal changes. Uh, this is probably not the best patch. And yes, that's pretty much it. Um, this Hyper Living VCO, mm -hmm. um, can you tell a little bit more about it? Well, it was a Hyper's attempt to simulate uh, the classic VCOs, vintage VCOs, cl classic vintage VCOs, and uh, also their peculiarities. And uh, 
starting from the noisy transistor pair and uh, basically try to capture anything that makes the original vintage sound and, uh, and combined all of this into a, v a VCO that was originally not very well tracking. We kept all the classic stuff like the linear detune, which is uh, pretty special, the portamento, um, and the vibrato, um, all these things were kept, but we improved the tracking um, so that it tracks li nicely now for five, six octaves. So it, it basically tracks like a modern oscillator. Um, but it's it's run by the driver section, so you can have you can have all three oscillators follow the main one, and this is also where then portamento or vibrato comes in. Uh, it's now difficult to hear in this patch, I guess. Um, and it has all the standard features like FM. It has pulse width modulation, something that's uh, uh, sort of uh, not uh, originally in the Serge world, but has to be patched. And uh, yes, we added we added the sync, and it has that VCA. So it's nice. It's nice for drones and uh, for uh, complex patches. What? Yes, Heibler was uh, was a very prolific German designer who. Uh, both designed his own circuits, but also um, ad but also adopted a lot of uh, classic um, classic uh, both effects and uh, and circuits and uh, and sort of added his own flavor. So this, for instance, the tau phaser that we also have is an uh, incarnation. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Is an incarnation of the of the original trident phaser, which is a very uh, very rare and um, very rare phaser from the um, 70s, I think, and um, hard to find you know, anywhere on the planet. And uh, Jürgen took the main concepts and uh, modernized it, and we again took Jürgen's version and uh, and modernized it and got rid of obsolete parts and brought it to Eurorack. Okay, danke uh, schön. <laughs> bitte, bitte. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, thanks. <laughs>